Welcome back to another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Today, we are going to learn interesting facts about many different wild animals, including bears, zebras, elephants, giraffes, lions, tigers, koalas, and crocodiles. Did you know that the average elephant eats about 16 hours a day? sleeps about five hours a day, drinks up to 80 gallons of water a day, and poops up to 80 pounds a day. Let's take a walk in the wild and learn more about amazing animals and reptiles. Here we go. Walk in the wild. Don't feed these guys. Stuffed teddy bears are cuddly, but real bears are wild. Bears of the world include black, brown, andine, panda, sun, sloth, and polar bears. Bears have a lumbering walk, but some are fast runners. Black bears can climb trees. The largest bears are the brown bears and polar bears. The brown bears of the Rocky Mountains are called grizzlies and the huge bears of Alaska are Kodiaks. Kodiaks and polar bears can weigh more than 1,000 pounds. <laughs> Black or white stripes. Zebras are related to horses, but a wild zebra will never let you ride him. These grass eaters roam the African savannas in large herds. They have white coats with black stripes. Or are they black with white stripes? Shorter than most horses, zebras are stocky and heavy. They can sprint 40 miles per hour to escape lions, hyenas, or cheetahs. But they often form a tight group and bravely face a predator, ready to kick and bite. <coughs> Giants of the Earth Elephants are the largest land animals. The largest was an African bull, male elephant, which stood 13 feet tall and weighed more than 20,000 pounds. African elephants have big, wide ears, and Asian elephants have smaller ears. Elephants have long tusks and even longer trunks, which they use for drinking up to 80 gallons of water a day and for clasping objects and food. They are very intelligent with strong bonds between members of the herd. That's quite a stretch. Giraffes are the tallest animals. With their long neck, some reach leaves almost as high as a two-story house. A giraffe may eat 100 pounds of leaves a day. To lower its head to drink, it has to spread wide its front legs. It is hard for a giraffe to lie down and then get up to flee a predator. For this reason, giraffes nap standing up, and only for minutes at a time. In fact, they get the least sleep of all mammals, sleeping only 30 minutes a night. <laughs> Intelligence in those eyes. Humans as animals are primates, just like monkeys, lemurs, and chimps. Gorillas are the largest primates. They are strong, intelligent animals living peacefully and eating plants and fruit in remote forests of Africa. Male silverback gorillas grow to be large, as much as 500 pounds. They can look fierce but are gentle and less provoked. 
Gorillas live in close-knit bands, and adults will protect family members, especially infants. <laughs> the King of the Beasts The male lion, with its beautiful thick mane, huge teeth, and loud roar is a regal and powerful big cat. He and his lionesses rule their territory with few enemies. They live, raise cubs, and hunt in a group called a pride. All the lions have special roles within the pride. The lionesses do most of the hunting as a group, preying on large mammals. The male protects the family, and he also gets to eat first. And the cubs' job? Play and learn. A growling prowler. What's larger and more ferocious than a lion? A tiger. It is the biggest cat of all, weighing more than 600 pounds. Tigers are the top predator in several areas of Asia, the hot, humid jungles as well as cold northern forests. The tiger stripes help it to hide in long grasses and dark forests. Each tiger has its own special stripe pattern. Unlike lions, tigers do not tend to live in groups. They prowl and even swim long distances, hunting alone for prey. Watch for crocs in the lake. Crocodiles are huge reptiles related to alligators. They have tough, leathery skin, small eyes, and long, strong jaws with sharp teeth. Few animals can escape these clamped jaws, which can crush bone with a single snap. Crocodiles are meat eaters, preying on fish, reptiles, mammals, and birds. They have keen hearing and eyesight. They often lurk beneath the surface of a pond or river, watching for an animal to come drink. Then they strike. Next, we are going to learn about an animal that lives in Australia, likes to sleep up to 18 hours a day, and only eats one thing eucalyptus leaves. Can you guess what animal I'm talking about? Yes, the koala. Koalas have strong arms and shoulder muscles to help them swing from branch to branch. They also have sharp claws. Did you know that a koala has two thumbs on each hand? Their hands and feet are made for climbing, swinging, and holding on to branches. Koalas are furry and look cuddly, but they are wild animals and can have a mean temper if disturbed. Let's learn about two cold-blooded reptiles, crocodiles and alligators. Crocodiles and alligators can move quickly on land for short distances, but feel more at home in the water. Crocodiles and alligators are expert swimmers. They often submerge themselves close to the water's edge and wait for their next meal. Using their powerful jaws, they quickly grab their prey and force it underwater. Surprisingly, crocodiles are caring mothers. They will often guard their eggs from predators. Once the eggs hatch, some crocodiles will carefully carry their babies in their mouths safely to the water.
You can tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator by their teeth and snouts. When a crocodile has its mouth shut, you can still see teeth sticking up from its lower jaw. An alligator's bottom teeth will be tucked in. A crocodile has a long, pointed snout, and an alligator has a broad, shorter snout. Many new facts today, especially about tigers. I did not know that each tiger has its own special stripe pattern, or that a tiger is more ferocious than a lion, or that tigers can weigh more than 600 pounds. What did you learn today? I think we can all agree that wild animals are all amazing creatures. Until next time. Keep learning more about all different kinds of animals. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to twinsisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Story Time Anytime. <laughs>